reviewing the Skydio 2 drone. This is a flight review. Hello everybody and thank you for visiting AdShot. If this is your first time or you are returning, we appreciate you viewing. Today we will review the Skydio 2 drone. All video and music made from scratch. Alright, so as we get our tech rolling, this was one of the fastest uh, GPS acquisitions I've ever had. Took less than 30 seconds to acquire GPS for the flight here. I'm very happy about that. One thing I want to do all the time is launch quick and get rolling. Let's just start off by giving an ad shot to everyone out there that has been viewing in the past and has left comments and feedback for me. I really appreciate it. I really do this for you guys, and it's all very personal to me. I've been editing video and doing adventurous things my whole life, and I finally have a creative outlet to uh, place all these things. So again, thank you so much. Please share. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. Leave me comments. Give me feedback and review, because it's only going to make this better. And again, I thank all of you out there. All right, so here we're rolling on this suburban downhill, catching some great Skydio 2 aerial footage. As I make some adjustments in height and other settings, you can see the leaves are changing on the trees. It's a beautiful day. We got some great chase cam footage as I want to raise up in altitude here and see what I can get. So Skydio claims that this drone will do about 36 miles an hour. I'm probably not breaking the speed on this hill. Um, it's really not the speed that throws this thing off, it's the obstacles. The moment it encounters obstacles, it has to slow itself down to calculate how to get through it. So then it will catch up doing its top speed to come grab you. But you never know at any moment, like about right here, it's just going to freak out, look at the sky, Raise an altitude about 300 feet without any direction. The AI is completely on its own. There you go, though. Great, beautiful, cinematic shot of the town. As I'm trying to get this thing lower, I know it's up there. I can hear it far away, but I can't lay eyes on it for the moment. Time to bust out the beacon. So the Skydio 2 is really high up there not really sure why or how it went up there we got a bustling little town beautiful footage though I can't complain and as I get it acquired we can keep rolling here so the goal today was to find a place in a suburban neighborhood with houses cars trees other people all around and just see how this thing does in an environment that I'm not typically in so for safety, the height floor is enabled, so the Skydio 2 will not fly below 8 feet. Keeps it safe in case there's any oncoming traffic, humans, pets, anything like that. So by having the cell phone mount on my handlebar, I'm allowed to very easily always keep track of where the Skydio is in the sky, whether it's got me fixed or whether it's using a GPS track on me, and basically this thing is wonderful. This, this mount I have, I use on both my ATV and my mountain bike. And I'm probably going to have to get more of them because I'm sick of uh, switching them from handlebar to handlebar. So as we're cruising through this uh, quiet little town, Skydio finds a little tree, a little obstacle, senses that I'm flying away, and it shoots for the sky here. Finds its opening and shoots for the sky definitely has lost me visually, still has a GPS signal, but the camera has not acquired me yet, so I'm going to have to fish him out of the sky and get him back acquired onto me. So I'm getting some absolutely wonderful cinematic shots here though, as the Skydio is basically lost, I'm still able to, you know, get some wonderful footage, tie it into the video where I need to. In my case, I'm just going to show how I'm fishing it out of the air, getting it back acquired on me, and here we go again. So you'll notice that the beacon tends to come out of my pocket 
at times when I really need it. So when I feel like my signal is weak or something like that, it's the beacon that connects to the drone. So I pull the beacon out of my pocket to receive a better signal. Now using the beacon in conjunction with the cell phone allows for a much more rich experience. You have the visuals on the cell phone, but however, controlling the drone with the cell phone is not my favorite. I don't even touch the cell phone anymore when it comes to controlling. Maybe if I can double tap the screen and send it into a direction, I will use the cell phone. But really, for any type of flight control, I pull the beacon out of my pocket and I go into manual flight mode. So I'm just saying hi to some of the nice neighbors around here. As I go for a ride through somebody's neighborhood, I always pay respects, wave where I can. You know, you're going to catch a lot of attention, you're going to get a lot of heads turning when you're flying through someone's neighborhood in a full suspension mountain bike with uh, all your lizard skins and pads and a drone following you, so you might as well wave, be courteous. I mean, you don't want anyone to call the mask police or anything like that, so you might as well just be happy, smile, wave to people, and uh, that's what it's all about. So as we keep rolling here, there's plenty of chances for me to change direction, get this thing behind me, in the front of me, on the side of me. I've uh, really enjoyed this. There's no doubt that I'm becoming more and more familiar with the beacon, the controls, uh, starting to definitely know when the drone is facing me. When I push the right button, I know which way to turn it now. You can see the drone's above my head. I've pretty much kind of lost sight of it. I hear it but I'm not just really sure where it is. So I'm looking down at my phone and the phone is showing me that it's pretty much stuck in the location. So I have to make a slight adjustment while riding here. And uh, I am using the screen here to double tap and try and get this thing closer on me so I can reacquire. That's definitely one thing I'm using the phone for is all the reacquiring. To uh, reacquire to the subject and to continue the follow me mode, uh, the phone is one of the best options for that by simply tapping the screen on the subject or the vehicle that you're in, you can quickly get going again in the follow me mode. So here we are flying down this nice treed road and Skydio hits the brakes in reverse and proceeds to give chase. The Skydio 2 is keeping track, no problems in this, uh, this neighborhood. Not a whole lot of trees getting in the way. Skydio seems to find its way through and, and get around it pretty easily. So right here again, while riding, I'm going to try and do a few more things to push the Skydio away from me. I'm trying to build some distance between the Skydio and myself. Right now it has to go over some trees while keeping up with me. It does want to be at a lower elevation that I had initially set, so it drops back down. does not want to go around the back side of that tree. I don't feel like this is a true test of the Skydio's abilities. Uh, it's definitely awesome and doing great. I've had fantastic footage today. Um, but I'm not putting it to the test as far as tree branches and obstacles and line of sight. Not much today. It definitely finds its way through, no problem. That's what I try to do. I try to really test this thing, but I just had a great ride today. And I uh, really enjoyed myself. So again, just another fantastic flight. Pretty much any flight where this thing doesn't careen into a tree or a telephone pole is a great day. So uh, we're going to bring this thing in for a landing. I'm pretty much very comfortable with the beacon now, bringing it in for a, a landing. we got this aerial view looking awesome. And extended. Skydio coming my way. Another great day. know what you think in the comments below. If there's more to come. Please subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.